Raider, this is first squad leader. We made our way out. The neighborhood looks deserted. We'll have to scavenge the nearby buildings for any useful resources. Okay. Find something to eat as fast as possible. All right, and we're off to a wonderful start. Hey, what's up, gamers? And welcome to a new exciting series. Infection Free Zone is the name of the game. I've done a game preview on this before, so go ahead and go check that out if you'd like to see kind of what the game is all about. That was back when the demo, but now the game is in full early release, and I'm excited. I've had this on my wish list for a long time. It finally dropped, so we're going to do a quick little series. Um, I am actually going to be surviving or attempting to survive in an area just outside of Lake Erie, Ohio. So somewhere a little close to where I'm at right now. I thought it would be interesting to be lakeside and see if we could uh, survive out here. But I am definitely open to any other major cities or areas you guys would like to see me live out of. Maybe somewhere in your hometown. There's a building or a, you know, a house or a restaurant or something that you've always had your eye on. You've thought, eh, man, I wonder what it would be like to survive out of that in a zombie apocalypse. Let me know and I'll give it a shot. I can do a, a couple little one-offs just to see if it was worth it. But for this series, we're going to try and survive in a small town of Avon, which is just below Lake Erie in the great state of Ohio. <laughs> a little bias there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's dive straight on in. Um, I am playing with all difficulties maxed out, so this is as hard as this game could possibly be for this area. And we're going to see what happens. Um, there is a nice big park north of us right here, so plenty of trees, plenty of wood gathering. My idea is to use these buildings right here. This rubble we'll get rid of and we'll put some farming in right there. But then we're basically going to wall off the street. We'll put our main gate right here. And then just wrap this walling all the way around with some watchtowers for defense. But that's the name of the game. I wanted to use these cool looking things. But it registers them as one giant building. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense. Instead of being four little buildings. I was really hoping for that. But... It's fine. It's way too massive to use as an initial. I don't know. Maybe we'll move in there later. But this is where we're going to be for now. So we're going to have to go ahead and turn on scavenger view. Boop. Got that out of the way. Select our squad. All right. Got that out of the way. And scavenge buildings for cans. All right. Let's go see what's over here. All right. And then return collected cans to HQ. So we will head our squad on over. Now, in the meantime, I've already played this a little bit. We're going to go ahead and set all of our people to start chopping out the wood in the area. And we're also going to start gathering all the metal in the area. As well as gathering all the brick in the area. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops or warehouses. Alright, roger that. Okay, I'll point you where to go. We're going to ditch that. It still won't let me. I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters so we won't spend a single more night underground. Yeah, I agree. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. All right, there we go. We'll get everybody out there. So this is going to be your management tab. Right now we have 16 people unemployed. Max that out for scavenging. I want everybody out there chopping trees. We're scavenging metal or scavenging brick. We're going to need all the materials we can. Uh, farming, obviously we don't have any farms yet. We'll build a kitchen and cookhouse later so we can actually start prepping food. Factory, that will come way later. Nurse, scientist, guard. We're going to try and get as much of this taken care of as possible. Alright. Let's get them Let's to return it. the cans. Alright. We'll have them go here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a whole chain... So they will just keep on keeping on, and they'll get our whole area scavenged. Everything around us. And as they load up, they'll take it back, and they'll continue on. So they will be hard at work doing that. And then once they clear out this first building, we're going to go ahead and adapt it to... Clear. Thinking maybe warehouse? How are we doing warehouse-wise here? About 100 out of 259... Shelter. This will house 11 new people. 
How many we got here? Living quarter capacity. Oh, okay, yeah, we need houses. Okay. So let me go shelter. Let me check this one out. Put 26 in there. We put 11 in here. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's turn this into shelter. So then we'll come here and we'll take... How many do we need? Eight people. So we'll take eight scavengers. Search done. Eight. And we'll drop them here. Yep, and we can start building. And there we'll move on to the next one. Lots of cans of food. Alright, up here is going to be all of our items. So food. You got canned food. The pot is for all your cooked food. The little grain leaf is obviously for your like raw grained foods. And then your meats, obviously. Building ammo is just ammo. It just lets you know the quantity of ammos that you have. Guns, you got pistols, rifles, assault rifles, and then shotguns. Fuel is just that. It's fuel. It's for your vehicles. Um, then you got wood, metal, brick, and then tools. Um, and then this is fertilizer and medical supplies. So right now we have just one objective going, which is adapt building into shelter. It's a nice cloud-covered day. All right, they went ahead and finished that one off. Ready for action. Looks like they got one last can out of it. All right, and as they do this more and more, they're going to level up. You'll see little symbols pop up right here next to the gun. It'll basically be telling us, you know, that they've got more experience. And then these damn transmissions come in all the time. Sir, the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. Oh. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Um, yeah, let's get back to HQ. Everyone should be back in the HQ. Let's do it. The workers will return home too. Unarmed civilians should not walk after dark. Um, yeah, agreed. Acknowledged. Stay safe. Receiving. So they're gonna go ahead and come back as well. Um, it tells you up here, if you go to the little thing, um, the little calendar mark, it tells you sunrise and sunset. So everyone will try and get in before sunset. You can see the little marker right here. It's a sun. And then it's all of a sudden going to click into a moon. And then that's when shit is going to hit the proverbial fan. Alright, yep, here we go. Chief, there are signs of smoke. Ooh, it's smoke signal. I think there might be some people there. I recommend we go and investigate. Yeah. Let's investigate. And we will do that ASAP. First thing in the morning, of course. All right, so let's create a new squad. Okay, let's do this. We'll go up here. Oh, no workers available. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Create a new squad. There we go. We got our second squad. So right now it's pretty straightforward. I like to fast forward through the night. Everybody's hunkered down in one building. We only have to worry about the one building. We're going to get right on through. So I'm thinking house, house, house. This little guy right here. Maybe we'll turn that into our science center. Right, it's a nice little small building. Um, we want, up here by the main gate, we want one of these, or maybe these two right here, to be our warehouses. That way they can quickly come in, dump off, and go right back out. Ooh, where are they? Ooh, here they are. Sir, we just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence here. Right, yep, get ready. Yeah, no, they're definitely coming. Oh, but they're going to hide out. So, we have a predicament ahead of us. Let's send the new squad down here. And then our veteran squad. Let's have them go clear out the infected. We need to get them out of there. Because if we do not take care of the infected, they will definitely start to pile up. This night was easy. There are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defenses before the next night falls. Oh, there they go. They're taking them out. All right. They took them out, and now they're scavenging. Perfect. Right, 
and everybody's going out and doing their thing. Alright, so we got food, some ammo, and then some basic tools. Nice. Yeah, let's bring them in. Bring them in. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Clear. Ooh, there's a gun there. What else they got? Four cans of food. Nice. And then there's a gun. We will definitely need that. Operator. All right. Let's get you over in this let's side. Do it. Actually, you know what? No, come here and do this, little guy. Let's do it. Still don't know what we want to use that for. I'm going to tilt it a little bit so we can see back there a little bit better. Ready for action. Let's, right, let's go it. like that. And then we'll come here. And we'll cross the street. It's only, nine no, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. we got lots of time. So here come the newbies. House is almost done. So that'll be cool. Alright, we'll send the newbies out. Let's gather some wood here. Let's gather all of this. There's nothing left. Yeah. Adaptation done. Send them all out. We're on the move. Alright, they're going back to get that gun. Very important. Ooh, this is a food store. It's a shop or restaurant, so it's gonna have food. Oh yeah, look at this. Food, 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 medical. It says hospital on it. Food, 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 food. Oh yeah. This must be like a mall or something. That's a total score. And then same thing over here, look at this. Few oh, tons of fuel. So this must be like some kind of gas station or truck stop. And then you got food and medical. You got grocery. Oh yeah, we totally scored. This is a good map. We gotta make sure we get lots of wood. All right, so we got another house. So here, let's. We gotta get one more. Let's get another shelter. Here, quick thirty-seven wood, which we got forty-four. We're good on that. So here's where we go. You go zero, max, max. That's how you quickly do that. Everyone will come back and go back. It's so dumb. And they're getting all that brick and jazz out of the way. Right, these little guys are going to be in the way. Let's do it. So we can mark these for destruction. Waiting orders. They got a gun. Let's have, um, Roger. Let's have them come up here and grab this. All right, there's more ammo. There's more food and ammo. They can get everything together. Slide it on over. We'll start storing it. Take out all these. This little guy is going to need to be chopped. Same with yeah, so we're going to start done. building our wall back here. Gather brick from there also. We're on the move. All right, so far so good. So let's look at what we have for materials. Um, we're getting a good bit of brick. So we can actually start a brick wall. That's what I like to start with. And since this is going to be our kind of main area right here to start, I would say go from like here maybe. Time to sleep. Something like that. There. We'll start a brick wall along that back side. Everyone's heading in for sleep. All right, we'll grab these guys over. These guys are full. I want everyone to load up. All right, head on in. We'll quickly grab that ammo. 
Right. You guys go Let's grab that it. ammo. We're gonna have to hunker down for the night. Incoming transmission. Hostiles. Hostiles. Ooh. Okay. Get ready to defend the All right, zone. here it comes. So it'll be nice once we get this wall, is it'll funnel them. Right? Because they'll instinctively want to come towards the headquarters. There we go. Nice. Alright, this should, uh, should be looking up. Each one of these is seven, seven, seven. That's 21, 28, mm, 35, math is hard, 42, 48. There are some infected 48 here. bricks. We got 78. Alright, so we'll have 30 left over. Ooh, here comes some more. them to slide over. This is risky. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Come on, take them out, guys. Come on, you got this. Hell yeah. Alright. So we're going to need to get these brick walls up and going as quickly as possible. And then we are just going to line it with watchtowers. So it'll be a literal firing squad. Because then what you can do, and this is kind of a, kind of a little hack. But then what you do is at night, you clear everybody from their day jobs. And then you throw them all into guard duty. And then at night, then all your walls are manned. And then you take them all down during the day and put them back out to work. Obviously then once you get big enough though, then you can permanently have workers and permanently have guards. But it's a good way to kind of balance things out early game. They're trying to get inside. Come on, take them out. There we go. There we go. It's a little tiny damage. A little tiny damage. See? Oh, yeah. They only got uh, 95. They only did a little 95 health. That should be fine. I'm not worried. I need to get down in here and start cranking out all this food. Because food will creep up on you. That's the one that will come out of nowhere. Next thing you know, it, you're out of food. Especially heading into your first winter. You need, need, need food. So this is canned. Cans are durable and easy to find. During scavenging, your citizens eat cans when no fresh rations are available. They, <laughs> they eat the cans. That's what it makes it sound like. A bunch of billy goats. Right, here, let's go ahead and just power through. Pause it real quick. So we'll zero this out. We'll max here. We'll go max there. I want all this built up. Reporting. And then this is the Ready this is the new action. squad. All right, let's send them here. We're on the move. Reporting. Let's get our vets down here. On my way. I do hope that we can find a car. We need to try and find a car because then we can start getting places. You gotta look at these little bits right here. It's hard with the mist, so that's why you actually have to send people out. But eventually you'll find one. It's in good working order. Or it needs to be fixed. Like it needs a new battery, or it just needs more fuel. And you can do that real quick, like on the spot. It just takes a couple seconds. Search done. Chief, we just found an assault Chief. rifle. Nice. This will come in handy against large hordes. Hell yeah. Let's just not waste too much ammo on nothing. Yeah, roger that. Use it with caution. So we are gonna give it to uh I'm gonna give it to Bro here. There you go. You can have an assault rifle. To all survivors, be infected or decline. See, there's an Who's there? To all survivors. 
Uh, it's clearly a looped message. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna push the issue. Chief, this is the same transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. Nice. All right, yeah. Let's go there. Whoa, all the way across the map. Ooh, look at all this. Oh, man, this is heaven right here. All these little houses. Wow, that's going to be a distance. Okay, yeah, we definitely going to need a vehicle. Got to find a vehicle ASAP. Waiting orders. All right, come here. Let's do it. And then here and here. Get you guys working. You know, we gotta hope these guys can find a vehicle here soon. Operator. All right, they're getting food. They're getting food from the food place. Uh, that's what I like to hear. Ooh, vehicle. Sir. Ah, oh, yes. Just found a car that looks drivable. Let's try to make it run again. Hell yeah. Okay, try it. Nope, these guys aren't too far. We'll, have, we'll send them over. We'll grab the car, and then we can bring it back if we have any extra loot. Because the car actually has its own inventory that you can... See? Left. You can load it up. Right, they're moving on over there. Finished construction. Finished construction. Oh, our first wall. Right. Ready for action. Let's send them over here. On my way. We need that car. Like, need that car. Alright, those walls are going to start popping up here. Good and quick. Construction ready. Still got a good bit of brick coming in. That's good. Alright, and we got another house. Alright, so we've cleared the area, right? So we got 2 out of 19 living here. 26 out of 26. 27 27. The overflow goes into headquarters. That's nice. Looks like everybody auto goes into scavenging. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Building complete. Now we just need this car. We need this car. So build a wooden tower. Take over the vehicle with the squad. Building clear. All right, let's do the wooden tower. It takes 10 wood. And I want to put it... I want to put it so... It has a line of sight down the center right here. All right, that's what this bubble is, is it's line of sight. So that way if anything tries to come up from behind right there, it'll see it. We'll put it right there. And I think we'll put another one here. Um, and I'm thinking we'll go every other like this, honestly. So we want them to be able to come... Like, over here, if you notice, the bubble doesn't reach the other tower. So then if something's attacking, this tower can't help him. So I'm thinking we're going to need to change it up and go like right here. Build a second one right there. That'll get that all situated. First line of defense, watching our, <laughs> our proverbial buttocks. Alright, let's get it back into it. It's about 1 o'clock. Are they going to start... Fixing the car. The All right, there they got it. Nice. All right. Well, yep. See, we store the food. So now we need to get them on a nice little trip. Or ooh, it's later in the day. We might have to wait till tomorrow. Let's get them scavenging more food. Let's go do this one. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's go ahead. I mean, we're already right here. Yeah, see, they're just going to zip the car over. First thing in the morning, we'll send them out to go to the scientific materials. That's going to be crucial. They're just going to... Ready for action. Hit six, seven, eight, nine percent. Okay, cool. Some builders in on that. Reporting. Roger. 
All right, we've cleared all these houses. Which is good. Let's, uh, let's send them to this one. Let's keep an eye on time. We're getting awfully close. Sunset is at 19. So we have, what, three hours? A little under three hours? They're almost done here. Come on, you guys. So close. Come on. And there we go. All right. Ooh, yeah, look at that. They have a full thing of food. These are the awesome people. Yep, this is the crew right here. And then first thing in the morning, we will send them over to get goodies from the science thing, Mabob. Then we can turn this into our research center. Stop working. Start winding down for some We're going to take out that little guy. Going there. All right, yeah, we'll park our car out front. Oh, these are so close. But that's fine. So that's their view. We'll put the other squad over on this one, and then they should have a nice round view of that side. Yes. All right, full moon. That's good. We can use a quiet night. So that's one thing that will benefit us. Now, there is a flip side to it. There is like stormy, cloudy days where the infected come out during the day. So it goes both ways. But you can see up here the full moon with the little exclamation. Full moon with clear skies causes the infected to stay indoors during the night, which means we can keep on scavenging. Which means they can go and do their mission now. Send them all the way over here. Get them in Let's there. And we'll press H for home. And there we go. And then these guys Operator. can just keep Roger. going with this. A lot of good brick over here. Ooh, yeah, we're, we're going to need a lot keep building this wall all the way around but I'm gonna do little chunks at a time so we'll get the towers up and then we'll keep wrapping it over here um, this will need to be converted eventually all right we'll bring it around this way and then we'll bring it down here we'll put in our gate There's nothing left. all right so they'll just keep going they'll dump they'll come back they'll keep moving on Sir, we found a trail nearby. It looked as if a huge crowd had run and trampled everything in their way. Hmm. There must have been hundreds. That is weird. Have you heard anything? Last night we could hear howls, as if crowds of monsters were shouting and wailing. I think something really big is coming our way. That's not good. Look for more signs. Track them down. Yeah, that's definitely not good. It was them when they were up over here somewhere. A group of survivors. Reporting. On my way. So what we can do. Let's do it. When you find these uh, yellow ones, if you make contact, you can invite them in. Roger. Come on, you guys. All right, they're going in there. Let's go say hello. We'll invite them to come stay with us. Now the red ones, those are raiders. Let's do it, sir. We've yep. encountered a group of people willing to join us. Yeah, come on in. Send them in. Let's do it. All right. Now what I have to do here is kind of dumb, but you got to send them back to the car. And then from the car to the building, so that way they understand, you know, the chain. It's, it's not 100%, but sometimes if you send them to the building, they'll 
You want to start walking back, they'll bypass the car. On my way. Yeah, there you go. This house is infected. Oh, hey. It's infected. Come on, you guys got this. I'll keep an eye on him here. A little damage. Keep an eye. We're almost down. Come on. All right. Whew. That was good. That was good. I got lucky. All right, let's go back home. Let's see how they're doing over here. So we'll keep this up so we can see how they're doing. I'm glad we started it in the middle of a full moon night, seeing that they're just barely three, barely four percent. Like that's going slow. It's a very big building, so I don't blame them. But hopefully we'll get a whole bunch of stuff out of it. Search done. All right, there we go. We cleared out all those buildings. And I think I'm going to send them over here next to these cool little crescent apartment buildings. Is probably what they were. I don't know. I haven't been, I haven't been up in this area. This is about 30 minutes outside of where I live, so like, I'm equally close to the lake. I'm just not this far down. Going there. If that makes sense. But yeah, I went to the big map of Cleveland, tried to do downtown Cleveland. I wanted to do something cool like by the Cleveland Browns Stadium or by the Cleveland Guardians. But a lot of those buildings, they're just, you know, because they're skyscrapers and stuff. The viewing was hard. The rendering was hard. They just didn't want to cooperate. So I scooted down, just stayed on the Lake Erie and just kept going west a little bit until I got to a spot where I saw... A good density of buildings, but, you know, smaller, shorter in height, I should say. <laughs> and it's clearly by some kind of mall, because look at all these goodies right here. Chief, we just found a dead animal, but the thing is, it was literally shredded to pieces. It couldn't just be some ordinary infected. There are yeah. teeth marks on its skin. That's not okay. They look like dog teeth. Oh. Oh, jeez. Stay alert. Building clear. But I did see that there's a tanker. So when they're done, you can split them and have, you know, two of them take the car full of goodies and then two of them fix up the tanker and bring it back. And then when they get back, we'll put them back into a, a squad. But then that way, we can bring that tanker home and then we'll have the tanker when we go up here to this area right here to get all this fuel. Boss, we're running out of space for resources. We have to build a warehouse. We finished construction. All right, roger that. Okay, you zero out the guards. Click that. All right, yep, sorry. Build a warehouse. Alright, so let's pause real quick. Oop, wrong one. Let's go here. Warehouse. So this one will provide 515, 4 something, 507. I mean, I think that kind of goes without saying. Let's see, 3 something, 4 something. Yep, this looks like to be the one to turn into a warehouse. Which means that then this brick wall needs to start coming this way. Let me get this knocked out though. some brick walling in here and to bring it out let's say about start tilting it a little bit like that yep and from there we need it to go right up yeah, it's going to have to go right through that. Right about... There. Okay. 
better start getting that built. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to I, resources. Mm. <laughs> I, I just did that. Thank you, lady. We're gonna see. Yeah, I just did that. Oh my gosh. Sometimes this game, man. I'm just gonna start littering this with towers. So here. Yeah. Let's see, I want it tilted just a smidgen. Go with the wall tilt. There we go. Go it right there. That should work in our favor here. Oh, these guys are done. Yeah, go way. ahead and bring your goodies back. Oh, here comes the the new crew. And how are the others doing? Okay. Job done. Still area working. Clear. Hey, area clear. That's what I like to hear. Let's get everybody on building duty. Get our brick wall up. Get our towers up. We'll have good, good defenses. Who's that? Hey, what is that? You get, gather metal from it? No? Can you gather wood from it? No? Can you gather brick from it? No. It's literally just debris. And I love the crackle of the trees falling. Like, that's so cool. Oh, see, there it goes. Boom. So cool. Oh, those are full, so this one will have to be a house here pretty soon. Hey, there we go. We got ourselves a big old warehouse. How's this one coming along? Are breaking it down? Okay, good, good, good. Oh, we have a whole bunch of unemployed. We got all those newbies. All right, let's get out there and start working. Waiting orders. Right, I'm going to send them way. over here. Job done. We're still waiting on these guys. Guys and gals out here. They're waiting, and that's just because it's about to be nightfall. I don't want to send them on anything new until we know for sure. Brick wall's going up great. Towers are going up great. Yep, we're going to have a good old line calls. of defense. Alright, see? And then now what we do, we'll zero this out. We'll max this out. Oh, we have enough. We have three extra. Oh, snap. Okay. Well, once uh, they're done at the university, when we get our science center here, those will be enough to then start doing research. So that's good. That's a good thing. The other thing, too, to help with line of sight, we can always demolish these buildings. But this second cul-de-sac right here, we might take that over later on if we need to expand. The big thing right now is going to be getting more brick. Another one incoming. So we can gather all kinds of brick from over here. Yeah, we're going to need hella scavengers for that. Right. Oh, here they come. Come on, y'all. Get them. There you go. Ooh, that assault rifle. Good thing we left that at home. Another one. Incoming. Another one. See him. Oh, here they come. I love how the game goes into panic mode when they did, what, like 26? Oh, snap. Okay. That's a little bit more. So, you know, we got the tower shooting. Right, we dropped one. Right here, hang on. Alright, they're loading up the car. They're breaking into 
We'll go back home. Our building's under attack. Come on, get him. Get him, get him, get him. There you go. Get him off that. And then they'll shoot over. See? Because they're in the bubble. So they'll help him out. Ah, oh, snap. We got more coming from over here. So we're definitely going to have to do oh, no, a little bit there. A little bit there. Okay, and I'm not too worried. Once we get this fully sealed in, they'll obviously attack the brick walls first. Yeah. Oh, here come dogs. Yep. Heads up, there are some infected dogs incoming fast. Shoot them down. Right? Take them out. So the dogs do a decent amount of building damage, but what makes them really a nightmare is against your people. And the beauty of this game also is that the hordes increase with time. So the longer you're alive, the more dangerous it becomes. I think that is fantastic. It can also be extremely scary. <laughs> But we'll be okay. So each tower holds two workers. We're at about 60. So that means we can handle 30 towers. That's more than enough. Giving how close in density they're going to be. And then, well, we need to, the, once we get in the gate, I believe the gate holds four people. I mean, let me double check that. Go here. So the best gate we have right now is going to be... The metal gate. I believe it holds four people. Oop, wrong button. Right, line it up. Let's get it down on there. Best we can. Right about there should be good, yeah? So there. And once this is clear, we can bring this up and then around. And then same thing, we can start working this down. And we'll start bringing this around at the same time. We'll have ourselves a nice little walled-in area. And then a main gate for them to come in and out of. And then this, now that it's going to be start getting cleared, this is where we'll start lining up farm plots right here. And then one of these guys, probably maybe this one, will turn into a barn. Maybe this one into a cookhouse. Uh, then this one can be uh, a chicken coop or something. I don't know. And then that'll be another house over here. Alright, so we'll take our guards off and we'll put them on scavenge duty. Actually, let's max that out. There we go. I want builders. I want builders building. So 20 metal and 8 wood. Okay, we got we got enough. We're chopping down more wood, so that's good. We have six out of nineteen here. That's full and that's full. So we're still good on housing. Alright, we need to go check out these people. Alright, they are loaded down with two, four, six, seven books. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna bring them up here. We're going to split them, because then we're going to bring this tinker home. Construct building complete. Because why not? And, we hell yeah. Alright, so exit the vehicle. Then we will split the team. Let's get her over here. You know what? We'll bring him too. What? Nah, he looks like he would... Yeah, they, that looks like a cute couple right there. I'm pretty sure that's one of my neighbors. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so, squad one, you going guys will there. go there, and Ready then you action. guys going there. Will grab this. You're going to wait, provide cover. Everything's collected. Ready for the rock. Perfect. Sir, the winter is coming. 
The days will be shorter. The farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. This might oh, be the hardest day yep. of the year. I, I got that in the back of my mind. Don't worry. Let's prepare for winter. All right. Bring him in. Then grab the other squad. And we'll bring them in. We're on the move. Bring that tanker. I didn't check. Does tinker have anything in it? No. But it can hold a whole bunch of fuel. Building complete. So we'll zero that out. Start scavenging, y'all. Ah, okay. I saw that. So I'm going to pause. I want to get this brick wall finished right here. Bring it straight across, like so. And then from there up to like here. And then from there to there. Perfect. That'll be our first little wedge. Alright, we'll go here, here, here. There we go. Yep, let's get people, get people building. Get them a building. Which also means... How are we doing on wood? 74. Okay. We're going to need wood towers. Right, I'm going to pause it again real quick. Go in like that. So I want the line of sight to be down the center area like that. And then this one will be right on the corner. And then this one will be right here on the wedge. Okay, let's whip around and get another side view. Come on. There you go. Very, very minor tweaks. Okay, yep, right. Thinking like right there. Okay, perfect. And then same thing as before. I'm gonna max out on that. Alright, perfect. And we will have a very good bit of coverage on that whole side right there. Obviously there because this side's gonna be open. Enemies that come from this side are going to want to naturally run along and come around. Which, then they'll just be running right past our line of fire. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. We could store all the books there, too. Let's build a research center and assign the most technical minds there. Yeah, agree. Okay. Perfect. Let's do this. Um, right. Oh, right. This one? Yep, research center. Okay. I'd only put one scientist there. What about here? I'll put five. Ooh, that might work. I don't know what we'll turn this into. This one actually might work. Yep, let's do it. Alright, so that's empty. Alright, so you guys come out. You guys come here. Actually, you guys can hear too. So this is a little trick. Alright, so we're missing guns. That's going to be another big thing. Alright, so you go exchange. You click on the other one. Squad 1 is the higher. I mean, it's the lower number, so I'll put everybody over there like that. And when you close out, it disappears. See? Easy peasy. Alright, we're going to put them. Let's do it. Load them up in here. So we are short on guns. That is going to be a big thing. So when you're looking for places to scavenge, right? So there's the question mark, meaning who knows? Can symbol, food. Pretty self-explanatory. This medical, right? What you want to look for, though, is a shield. Right here, badge. So it's going to have pistols, assault rifles, and ammo. That is what we want. So we're going to grab them. 
And we're going to send them there. And they're going to get that done. Because if we can get some more pistols and assault rifles on these walls, it's going to be fantastic. The other thing we can always temporarily do also is disband a squad. But see, they already have experience. That's what those little, little Vs. That's what those are going to be. Alright, so they're building up the walls, so we have a gate. Horde. Oh, horde. Receiving. Okay, I guess it was in here and they took it out real quick. Or they drove past it somewhere over here and it was in one of these other buildings. Building complete. Interesting. Okay, but no, I guess uh, they're going to go straight on. It's barely at 5%, so they're going to be there for a minute. Work done. Head back to your shelter. Okay, so now... Here's what we do. So we, need, we have 18 guards. So we'll max out the guards. So their guards are maxed out. Um, there are no guns. We have no guns. And that is a huge huge issue and with this weakness over here they're probably going to want to come over here Receiving. so we might want to move these guys I have a gut feeling I'm going to want to move them and they're low on ammo so they need to get over to the warehouse anyway so they can lock and load alright well we're heading into night I think this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and call it for this first episode this has been fantastic. We're heading into winter. We're in day five of our lifespan as a civilization. We've got a good bit built up. We've got some shelters. we got our headquarters, warehouse, working on some research. Found ourselves a car, a tanker, plenty of watchtowers, building our grand wall. All in all, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very excited. I'll go ahead and pause it, though. I'm going to save it here. We'll go ahead and pick up in the next episode. But as always, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. If there's any other cities you'd like to see me do quick little run-throughs, definitely let me down, down, know down in the comments as well. Excuse me. But as always, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe. Join the ever-growing community here on the Bears and Beans channel. And if you'd like to further stay in the know, you can head over to Instagram and follow me at Bears and Beans Gaming. I follow all gamers back. And for additional support for the channel, you can head over to Patreon, become a member over there. Get all kinds of behind-the-scenes footage as well as unedited content and members-only specials. But as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. You're an amazing, wonderful community. I'm excited where this game's going to go. Let's all learn and grow together. This is going to be awesome. Lake Erie, Ohio, USA. Let's see if we can survive. All right, guys. You're a wonderful community. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.